Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for choosing to watch this video today. I really think you're going to enjoy it. If you need a little bit of decor inspo, or if you're doing a new build, or you bought a new home, or you're just trying to revamp the current home that you live in, then girl, this is the video for you, okay? I, my style these days is kind of this like modern day bohemian farmhouse, okay? I don't know what that means. All I know is I really like natural, neutral colors that I can change and spice things up with over time. I firmly believe that if you buy or invest in staple pieces, those things will grow with you and you can always change things up in the future, but keep your staple pieces. So, as you know, Josh and I are recently under contract. We're going to be building our home. We're so excited about it. It's literally checking everything off of our list that we wanted in a new home. We knew that with this current home that we're in, if we could have the big sister version of it, that that would be the house for us. And that's what we have found. She's in the school district that we wanted to be in. She's in a great neighborhood. She's everything that we wanted. We're so excited. This is going to be the longest six months of my life. I don't know how I'm going to get through it, but I really want to show y'all what we have plans for what plans we have for her. Um, there are definitely some big ones and we know that it's not going to happen overnight, but we've just got goals and things that we want to do for her. And we really just think she's going to be the perfect fit for our home, for us, our family, our home. Don't think that's right, but family sounds better. I'll take that one. So before we get into it, let's do a little flashback and show you back to the day after we signed our contract that we went to the warehouse to pick out a few things and then we'll get started with the rest of the video. Are you excited for today? Yes. On a scale of one to 10? Nine. Nine. I'm a 15 <laughs> or 20. Tatum Ty, are you excited? Yeah. yeah. So we signed the contract on a house two days ago. Two days ago and we're so excited because today we are going to Durham to pick out our necessities. What are they called? Flooring. Yeah. Layout. Countertops, all that good stuff. Y'all know this is like my favorite. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. We're so excited that we actually have the opportunity to build our own house from the ground up. So that's going to be awesome. We can't wait. Just so excited. I just came to mind it. So that's just a little tidbit of kind of some things that we saw and all of the layout and how they had everything displayed when we got there. That was so much fun for us. And I think that it was really enjoyable because we had a already kind of a really clear idea of what we wanted, but that was so much fun. It was great to be like, oh man, we get to pick this, we get to pick that. Like they even wanted you to pick the size of your toilet. Like I didn't even know that was a thing. I mean, I was like, okay, we'll go. I'll just take any old toilet, whatever it works for me, you know, um, all the way down to the grout color, everything. It was so much fun. We really enjoyed that. So now I want to give you a little bit of a tour of the house. You can get an idea once we get further into the video of the rooms and what they look like and kind of the vision that we have for them.
okay you got to be ready at this point right like after seeing all that beautiful delectableness okay let's get into the good stuff okay so now that you've seen the house i kind of want to give you the ideas that we have for each room so the first room you'll notice when we come into the foyer there's the room to the left which is the study um, we have actually decided to try and turn that into a home gym i'll put a picture up right here this is going to be an idea of what we have in mind for goals for the room so in the study it will have the french doors as you saw in the video and then it, there's going to be tons of natural light coming in one of the things that we really want to do is kind of this brick accent wall and we really like that because when you open the door, that will literally be like the first thing that you see. And then of course, we really like the big gym letters. And then we're gonna do a punching bag. We'll have the weights. I'm also gonna do like some wood shelving and then maybe a built-in where that closet is in the room because as you may have heard in the video, we're not going to actually have that closet in there. So we're gonna do built-ins and that will be kind of our room that we use for our workout space. Originally, we were gonna do an office. But I decided kind of to go against doing an office because I have a I have a babe cave in this home and I have a desk up there. I love the room. I love the space, but I just very rarely use it. I catch myself always kind of getting the laptop and just bringing it to wherever I am at the time. And I work out in the living room here and I always think like, man, if I had a little bit more room, I hate that my weights are sometimes in the floor of the living room and then Tatum's tripping over them or whatever the case may be. So I thought, well, why not use the space for something that actually will be a functioning space? So that's one of the things that we're gonna do in there. This is just kind of a visual of what we have in mind. And then of course, after the house is done, I will do a video to kind of show you everything that we have kind of finalized and then what we're doing along the way. So. That will be the study. Nothing too schmancy with the um, half bath. We won't have a shower in there. And I'm gonna be very kind of minimal on what I do as far as like knickknacks. In our current home, I kind of have things here and there and here and there. And I like them because it makes the house feel a little more warm and cozy. But with this house, I really like kind of that broad, open feel. So one of the things that I've noticed is that I've kind of transitioned from this like French country farmhouse style to more of a modern bohemian farmhouse. I really like the natural colors, like even kind of like how this house is. Um, there'll be a lot of grays, oats, um, beige, cream, pops of green. I love plants. Um, and you'll see that as I show you more of kind of like my Pinterest boards of what I put together. So then once we go into the living room, we did not get the built-ins in the living room just because to upgrade that in the house was extremely expensive and just way too much. So uh, we will, I'm actually, I may wait until we get in the house to decide for sure whether or not we're going to do the built-ins. I love them. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. They're extra storage space. They just bring like a whole different dynamic to the room. But realistically, I have a child. He plays in the living room. He's going to have toys. I can put those in the cabinets, but I'm just going to see what works best for us once we get in there. Um, one of the things that we will do is um, I'm going to put down a, a big rug. I've actually already purchased it. I'm sitting on it now. It's called a jute rug, which is basically like this kind of pimp, all natural kind of vibe and then i'm going to do some layering with the rug so this is an eight by ten and then i'm going to put a smaller one that's kind of a beige color with it along with our current furniture that we have and then maybe switch out the pillows uh, another thing we are going to be switching out all of the light fixtures we did it in this house we're definitely going to do it in the new one and the only reason being is that the ones that are going to be in the new home are very just standard we didn't upgrade them josh works at lowe's like there's just no need to pay this additional money for an upgraded fixture that is probably not going to be there for us in the long run like we really have ideas of what we want to do so we're going to put a light fixture up similar to this one very similar we're, we're, this is the vibe we really like that kind of lantern feel and then i'm trying to decide whether or not we're going to do the lantern in the living room and the dining room or maybe switch it up a little bit but as far as the living room goes i also have already ordered um curtain clips and it's they're called uh, like painters mats or cloth uh, mats for like painters um but they're they're called uh drop cloth mats is what they are. But you can get them from Amazon, they're super cheap. It's basically a drop cloth. It, it's kind of got this oatmeal color to it. It's very natural looking. And I'm gonna put those in the windows in the living room. 
And then that's gonna, of course, I've already also ordered <laughs> um, two plants. One of them is a fiddle fig tree, a fiddle leaf fig tree. I have one, a, a real one here at home now. And as much as I love him, he was a gift from my coworkers when we moved in here. I absolutely love him, but they do, they need attention and they're kind of very particular about lighting and you know how often you water them. And I just don't want that responsibility anymore if I'm being completely honest. I just want something that looks pretty, it's functioning. Tatum's not putting his cars in it and I can just let it go. So I did order a fiddle leaf fig tree that I can't decide yet if it's gonna go in the living room or in his play space. And I also ordered a olive tree. They are very in right now and I'm so happy about that because I'm all about greenery and plants. Like I just love them. They bring a whole nother level to the space. So that will go somewhere in the living room as well. Moving on to the dining room. I have a follower who I've kind of become friends with and uh, one of her family members actually builds farmhouse tables. Our current table is just this round white table with black chairs, we love it. But we knew that part of the reason why we are getting this house is because we do wanna be able to entertain, we wanna be able to have our family is over for Thanksgiving or Christmas, and then just not have to worry about, okay, well these people have to sit on the couch in the living room while everybody else is at the table. Like. We just want to be able to have everyone in the room together and just enjoy each other's company. So I reached out to her and uh, her one of her family members is actually going to be building us a farmhouse table. <sighs> and I'll put a picture here. This is the inspiration behind it. It will be as close to this as possible. Um, it's going to be a six foot table with a bench. And then of course I'm going to have like white chairs on one side and then maybe cloth chairs on the end. And I, Josh and I kind of came to the compromise of doing something a little more boxy and just very clean so that it kind of has a little bit of a masculine feel, but still very natural. And so that will be in the dining room. And I think we're going to do the lantern light, but the longer rectangular shape. I'll see if I can find a picture and put it over here as well. Um, and that will be just about it for the dining room. I can't decide if I'm going to do curtains in there yet because I don't want you to walk into the space and there just be curtains and it take away from all of the natural light. Like if you saw that in the video, it's very kind of bright and I don't want to close it in. A trick for curtains too that I always tell people when they ask me about how to get the most out of your natural light is to always go at least like a foot or two higher than the window frame and go about a foot out. Because if you go too close to the windows and too close from the top, you're limiting yourself to like this this will be what your light space is for your window. Versus if you come out, you're showing more of the window, you're keeping the curtains away from it and the windows still look full size. So definitely we'll be doing that. And then at the end, we will be adding a screened in porch to the back. We did not upgrade that either just because that was extremely expensive and we know someone that's gonna do it for us a lot cheaper. So I'll do more of that in another video. The dining room is done for that much. For that part and then when we come over to the kitchen that's going to be pretty simple again i'm going to try and keep the counters very clean minimal um the subway tile will be a little different in our home because i think they used a white grout in the video that i showed you whereas we're going to use more of a gray kind of like the color of the couch so it really makes the subway tile pop and have a little bit more definition instead of looking kind of like this just white wall and then our countertops in the um, kitchen are also not going to be black. They're going to be more of a white kind of gray with maybe touches of black speckles in them, but it's going to be a lot more light. Um, I, don't, I just don't like the black countertops. I want it to kind of feel very bright and airy. Another thing that we're going to do is for the island, right now it's just sheetrock. That's just kind of what comes standard we would really like to add like shiplap around the island just to kind of give it a little definition. I've got a picture that I can put up over here as well, just to kind of give you an idea of what I'm thinking. And just to kind of break that up a little bit and tie everything in. Um, and then that'll be just about it for the kitchen. Nothing super crazy, everything else. I want, I want the house to speak for itself. I don't want to over decorate and then you see more of the decorations than you do the actual house, just like the staircase. So let's come around from the kitchen and get ready to go up the staircase. The staircase was a must for me with this house because when I saw it in the listing, 
that's what sold me. The built-ins and the staircase were just absolutely gorgeous. I love it. And I had to have that. And it's extremely expensive too, which is why we decided not to go with the built-ins and the porch because the staircase is, the staircase was an absolute must. And then it's got a nice window at the top of the staircase. So you get that natural light. And then we go up to the loft. So this will probably be about where, um, We'll talk about the loft and then I'll talk about the bathroom and that's kind of going to be about it for the upstairs until a later video. But the loft, Josh has a man cave here, okay? So in his man cave, he's got like a love seat, a flat screen, all of his Duke memorabilia, sports stuff, the Godfather stuff, like it's just your typical man room. And as much as I want him to have a space for himself, it's just not feasible with a child. And we came to another compromise that um, we would do the gym. That way we kind of have that space for us and Tatum would get the loft space and it would become more of like this lounge theater slash playroom. So we've got several ideas for that. Um, Ikea is going to be our best friend for this. They have got some of the most amazing light fixtures. We've got one in his room right now that we absolutely love. And it's kind of like this transformer light that's going to come with us and go into his room. And then I'm going to show you the light fixture here. <gasps> right? Look at her. Oh, I love this light fixture. And I'll put a little collage up. So his loft space, again, is going to be very natural. Whites, woods, plants. Um, I'm going to display like his books on floating shelves and then he'll have his Ikea bookshelf that we're going to put on the big wall and then mount the TV above it. We did upgrade the uh, TV mounting packages so that we could do all of the USB cords and the plug-ins and none of the cords will show. And then we're also going to look into maybe getting, it's called a nugget, which are basically huge cushions that you can get and put in your child's room or playroom. They can turn it into a fort. They can turn it into a Christmas tree. It becomes like this lounge bed. And I would really like to get one of those for that space so that if we're up there and we wanna just lounge and watch a movie, we can turn it into a lounger. Or if he wants to play and be creative, then he can do that too. I want his room and his play space to be separate. Like I want his room to be where he sleeps and we do bedtime and we read and he learns to get dressed. Y'all know if you followed me along this journey that we practice Montessori at home. And I really want that to be his space where he, he, he knows that it's bedtime or we're waking up, we're getting ready for the day and you know, kind of this relaxation space. And then I want the loft space to be his fun play creative outlet that he can go to and then just pull all of his toys out, play, let's be creative. I've got um, several other pieces from Ikea, like his table, and I've got a chair that's down here in the, in the living room now that he loves. And all of those things will be in that room so that we can literally just play in there and have the best time and it's all where he will be. So I have definitely decided on that. Um, and then just to kind of let him do some artwork and stuff, I'll show you more little visuals, but um, I think that's what we're going to do for that for sure. And I'm so excited about it because I think that that's going to become a space that he really enjoys. And I'm happy that we're able to offer that to him. So um, for his bedroom, uh, laundry room is going to be pretty basic. We probably will do some things in there later on just to spruce it up, give me some extra storage. I'd like to have some nicer shelving, uh, but that's going to be kind of put on the back burner obviously because there's so much other stuff going on. Um, so, and then for Tatum's room, I've already also got someone working on a house bed for him. A good friend of mine, her father-in-law builds things. He actually built Tatum's toy chest and he did an amazing job on it. So I reached out to him to see if he would build Tatum's house bed. And I'm so excited about that. I've been wanting to get one of these for him for such a long time. This is also Montessori inspired because the goal is to have the the bed on the floor so that the child is more capable of getting in and out of the bed. One, it's safer. And two, it teaches him more of that independence. Okay, it's bedtime. Let's go get into bed. And then we can read. I've already gotten his comforter set. And um, because the rest of the house will be very kind of natural, similar to what's going on here. But I do want his room to have a little bit of color. So I'm going to show you here kind of what inspired me. I actually got this exact bed set. I love it. It's got polka dots. It's got all of the different animals on it. Llama, zebra. Uh, I think there's a crocodile on there. And then I actually ended up getting a different pillow. In this picture, there's this like, um, 
like a dinosaur, like a little chunky dinosaur, but they have like a flat pillow at Target that he could actually lay his head on, and I ended up going with that one because I thought he would just love that. He currently sleeps on Edgar, which is his elephant, and he loves him, so I thought I have to give him something for the new bed. And with the house bed, I think that's going to be amazing, and I'm also going to get him some little star lights that I'm going to string along the top part of the house bed. Ah, oh, and I can just see us like sitting in his bed and him like, oh, he's going to be such a big boy and he's going to like get in his sheets with his pillow and we're going to be talking about all the different animals on his comforter. I'm not ready. But I think he's going to really love that. So I wanted to do that for his room. And then same thing, I've got a teepee that will go up in there that we've already, we've already got. We've had that. And then his little chair and his clothes basket. And then I've also ordered a wardrobe from, it's more like a bookshelf from Ikea. But there's a DIY hack that I found on Pinterest and you can also see them on YouTube that you take one of the shelves out and then you can add drawers to one side. And then for the other side, I got the tension rods that I'm gonna put in it and the little wood hangers from Ikea. And the wardrobe will literally come up to about the height of him so that he can go up and pick up his clothes for the day. And that again will teach him a little bit more independence and give him his voice of, okay, mommy, this is what I wanna wear today. And you know, it teaches him how to make decisions. So I'm really excited about that. And then as we go into his bathroom, very simple. I'm gonna do a little bit of pop of color in there too with the shower curtain. And then again, uh, along with the Montessori, I've ordered a um, mirror that I'm gonna hang on the wall that he can use and I'm gonna put like a little container beside it on the wall that I'll mount with his little hairbrush in there and his toothbrush. And that's gonna be his little get ready station where he can brush his hair when he gets out of the tub, he can brush his teeth, we can do all that and we can kind of develop that routine. Oh, I'm so excited. I think he's gonna love that. He loves doing things himself. He's really gotten into that stage that he wants to do things. This morning he was helping us put pillows on the bed to make the bed up. And I think that this is just going to be a, a perfect opportunity for that. So, and then of course for our room, um, I've pretty much got everything. I'll probably pretty much keep it the way it is now. I'll probably, you know, maybe do some different throw pillows or something, but that's going to be about it. And then for our bathroom, the tile in the bathroom in this um, house that um, I'm showing y'all the pictures from and the video from, if I do the video, uh, is that they've got kind of this gray tile and ours is going to be more of a marbled effect so it's kind of white with splashes of gray in it and then the bathroom will be very similar so we'll have the tub it will have the stand-up shower but the tile is going to be different we'll have the white cabinets in our bathroom and tatum's bathroom and then we have white countertops instead of the black again uh, just to keep it clean looking and very clean okay i like it to look clean let's just be honest and then Tatum's tile in his bathroom and the tile in the laundry room will be more of like a neutral color. It's kind of like this tan, sandy color. And then for eventually, we will do something different with our closet. The closet's going to be very basic right now, but I would love to also get um, shelving from Ikea and do like this whole kind of built-in effect for our closet. I think that that would just be office, obviously um really nice to have built-ins with drawers and things like that so that everything's kind of tucked away and has its own space. And that brings me back to another thing that I almost forgot. So for us to do the built-ins ourselves downstairs by the fireplace will also be, they're called the Billy, yeah, Billy, and there's another one. They're the shelving units that are from Ikea. And the hack is that you can buy two of them, put them together, you can buy the doors for them, and then we're gonna hire somebody to come in and basically frame them out. So we'll put everything together, get them where they need to be, and then just have someone come in and put frames around them so they look like they're built in. And I want you to know, it's going to save us about $4,000, okay? <laughs> yes, please, girl, I will take that because mama's trying to save a book where she can, okay? But yes, yeah, so that's pretty much the whole house. We're so excited about it. Now if they would just like um, let us move in. Can we move in tomorrow? Because I, I don't know how, I literally don't know how I'm going to get through these next five or six months. I don't know. But I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Give me your feedback. What do you like to use to decorate? If you have any hacks, please leave it in the comments below. I would also love for you to subscribe and stick around because this is going to be 
an amazing journey for the next few months. I will do more videos like this. I will keep you all posted on what we're doing, if we've changed anything. And then I'm gonna also be doing videos on the house's progress and kind of where we've started and how it's how far it's come. And then of course, once we get moved in, I got to show y'all all the things, oh my goodness. And then of course, stick around so that you can see more of my other videos for our Montessori or recipes or workouts, things like that. And you can also follow along with me on social media on uh, my Instagram at by Michelle. Please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe because it really supports my channel. I would love for y'all to stick around. Thank you so much for watching again. Until next time. What? I gotta go. I've been off Pinterest way too long. I got to go. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.